Hey folks, Jim Rossland's out here. How you doing? I hope you're enjoying the show so far. Listen, uh, I got no more than 10 minutes, probably closer to 8, uh, to talk to you about a project that I'm working on, an OER, U.S. History textbook, with student content. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and the students are, are, are community college undergraduates. Man, they're doing great work. Great work. You bet. Great stuff here. So let's see. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Come on. There we go. Okay, this is the... Uh, this is, the, uh, this is the cover of the textbook, right? Our story, an ancillary to U.S. history. It's on, it's, on, it's on Pressbooks page. There's the photograph of a young man looking very patriotic in that shirt, watching some fireworks. That's my number one son there, taken a few years ago on 4th of July. Okay, let's talk about some stuff here. First point, traditional textbooks lack a number of things. That I've thought about over the years. Uh, they lack, you know, people of color as, as examples. Yes, yes, there's some there. They're, they're, they're sprinkled in there. Like, you know, like you maybe would put in salt or some other seasoning. Just a little bit. And I know more and more uh, authors or publishers are, 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 are trying to put more in there. Um, but the reality is they're not really enough for me, and they're not enough for my students who are uh, people of color. My students are, are Latinx, African Americans, Asian Americans, and, and, and folks who are interested in um, history of people of color. And I try to give them as much as I can in lectures, but, 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 but still they want to read about it. And traditional text, textbooks just don't do it, so we've been working on our uh, on our own textbook and I've been I've been doing a lot of writing but my writing comes you know from from my viewpoints from my from my history from my experiences right I and mean, I'm, 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 uh, I'm laying down content through the eyes of a 50 year old guy Most authors in these traditional textbooks are not people of color. The vast majority are not people of color. So they lack their experiences, their, their insights. So I wanted to use students' voices. I lack their insights. I lack their experiences. I wanted to add their voices. Give them agency. Yeah, exciting stuff. I love to read their stuff. Stuff they come up with, man. It's important. Years ago, I was, uh, I was on Twitter and there was a discussion about the use of students in such a situation. And overwhelmingly, the answer was no. And I thought, you know, Challenge accepted. Except I did it not for that reason, but because I think it's important for for, 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 for students to to read what each other has to say. I think it's important for students to know that what they have to say is important for others to read. And they do get a kick out of reading what other students had to say. Because they tell me this. They tackle their topics. I give them broad, broad ideas. The long 1950s. Pop culture in the 21st century. Gender polemics during the Second Great Awakening. Something like that. And then go. Go find something. Go do. And they do it. They do a fantastic job. They really do some great job. And if they want, their stuff will be incorporated. Totally up to them. 
or when we uh, are looking at very specific things. When we're looking at the American Revolution. When we're reading certain documents. Like 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 for example, why 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 the southern states, why the slave owning states broke away. then they have a very specific assignment, but they look at it, they take it from their angle. An angle that I would not have addressed because they're looking at it through, through, through fresh eyes. It's important, this is, this is important. So I find such a textbook, one that we use in class, one that's freely available on the net, thus more accessible to everyone as opposed to a to a for-profit book I find it more equitable and I find it certainly more inclusive more inclusive of, of, of their voices of their experiences of their interests of their desires if you want to get a hold of me there we go Here's my email address. If you want to look at the textbook, you got it right there. We're on Pressbooks, pressbooks.pub, our history. Uh, that's a relatively new uh, URL. Um, uh, Pressbooks is shifting its platforms, and um, so now I, well, we had to move for certain reasons. Uh, at the time of this recording, um, 309,000 plus words uh, by the time that you uh, watch this I'm sure it's going to be a little bit more because we're always working on it students always have stuff to say uh, there's, a, there's a chapter at the end just entitled Houston and the assignment is whatever you got to say about, 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 about your home city of Houston and in that one I don't do any editing except uh, grammar I'll clean it up. Whatever they got to say, they got to say. And so there's a, it was a great chapter about, mainly it's about rap. But they have some interesting stuff. Anyhow, folks, that's all I got to say. So uh, I'll say, uh, I'll say this. I'll say, I'll see you when I see you. Thanks for your time. I appreciate you all. All right.